Hi and welcome back to South African Homesteader. My name is Geria and today I'm going to be showing you how we are starting to take the net off of the greenhouse and how I'm still, I'll be actually um, just cleaning out this bed which the carrots um, were planted this is one of the first crops we planted last year and um, we are getting some carrots here I have harvested some and I've also given some to Boki um, I've just cut the, the uh, pulled off these stalks so I've cleaned out this bed till here I've weeded the weeds and things I am giving to the chickens and then, then the um, carrots I am oh and I'm I, 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 I'm not used to harvesting carrots so this is the second one that this happened to I basically I basically broke the carrot off in half um, but I'm harvesting these carrots because we need to clean out the speed so that we can this, my carrots didn't do well this year at all um, I think they are going to be doing better in the new year those are weeds but I, I just I just want to clean it out I don't want to give it it's it's too much on top of each other which is why it hasn't been doing well again broken off isn't it maybe a good idea to just stick a fork in the you're gonna then you're really gonna damage it this is an okra plant I'm not sure if okra can grow um, from year to year in our climate I'm in the southern hemisphere if any of you know then let me know but I mean most of these carrots I've given to Boki that I've cleaned out from there and um, I'm gonna be con continuing to pull out some carrots and I'm noticing that at the bottom they're quite thick but as they come to the top it's, it's, it's thin I mean I could, this one looks like it's like it's a nice big fat one and then you pull it out and then it's it's, it's exactly the same shape it's sort of a normal shape there but then it becomes all thinner so I actually think this is because it doesn't it didn't have enough space the spacing was all wrong everything was wrong so lint a lot during this year we'll be trying to just improve on how we grow the carrots um i'm just taking the these, these things are all breaking off inside here some of them are like long and i told you use a fork it's gonna break even more if you dig it down and you loosen the soil first. Sure. At least it's... You see, they're all going to be misshaped and misformed. I can rather start... some nice ones this one is nice oh big one white white carrot no oh, white carrot <laughs> okay so this bed now is cleaned now we'll just rake it and put some compost on all oh, this beans. I must, I must take off this trellis here. These were the beans trellis, and at least so we only have that section covered in front now. I'm not sure what my husband's plans are there, but we'll discuss it. And then I think this lemon tree is going to do a lot better. This, this tree had a slow start because um, I don't know if it was too much shade or what was the problem with this tree. 
So all these, these are old cabbages that we are going to be feeding to, to the chickens. Everything in here will be fed. This we're going to leave. These are the bishop's crown. And they're starting to turn. And they're starting to turn. And in, in here we're going to plant all our new peppers. The ones that I seeded yesterday. And if it's not enough space, we'll have to just make some more space either inside here or outside. See, the problem I have with these peppers is that some of them were marked. Some of them I can see what it is. And some of the, the, the peppers, um, the markings just faded because I marked it with pin. More bishops brown. Those ones in front are turning color because they get more sun. These tomatoes must come out. We're not having any tomatoes in here in the new season. So this is going to be the next bed that's going to be cleaned out and then we're going to do that one and then there and then we'll have to just make some new beds at the back here. And this is what it looks like at the moment outside here. And I also put these um, footage uh, pictures and videos in because see uh, the bees you can see the bees and the sunflowers how majestic this looks and this this was actually a volunteer sunflower so as I was saying, I take this footage so that when I look back at the videos and I can see what the garden looked like at a certain time of the year. And so just for my records, um, this is the beginning of July. So this is the harvest. Although this isn't the best harvest, we are getting some carrots from here that I can clean up and store and I will show you that now okay so I actually didn't end this video yesterday this is the next day but what I did was I cleaned all the carrots and then I peeled them with a potato peeler and then I cut them in pieces and I put them in my uh, food processor and I made them fine like this because the shapes weren't that awesome <laughs> they didn't have um, you know like nice shapes etc but also it was the best way i could think of to store these because uh, now i can just pop this into a pot of soup and then um, it's usable so i'm going to be putting these two bags i got out these two bags i'm going to be putting this in the freezer and then i will be using it in my soups so i hope you enjoyed watching me harvest my carrots and then preparing them um, if you would like to subscribe to the channel, please click on the subscribe button. If you would like to be notified of all future videos, then click on the, note on the bell button. That will notify you of all future videos that's going to be uploaded. So from me, Hyria at South African Homesteader, until next time.